this is Circuit Breaker Day 19 in Singapore and thank you for sitting with me. Today we're going to talk about staying balanced. So how do we achieve a balanced life? Where do we draw a line on when to stop, to do less or to do more? So there are three guiding principles that I'd like to share with you today. So number one, listen to your body. Well, our bodies are always giving us signal to tell us whenever our engine is overheated or underused. If you often fall sick, feeling aches and pains, heart racing, head pounding, most likely your body is trying to ask you to slow down. And if you're always feeling restless, unmotivated, exhausted all the time, your body is probably trying to tell you that you are exerting your energy on doing things that you probably dislike or not enjoying. So take the cue from your body and learn when to stop or change gear. Number two, the mental discipline of prioritization. Well, there are always 1,001 things that we want to do in a short 24 hours window frame. And that's how we develop the bad habit of multitasking, ending up in lots of distractions, inability to stay focused and dedicate ourselves 100% into the tasks that we are doing. So to regain balance, you need to learn how to prioritize. And I have a personal prioritization method that is based on intention. For example, during this circuit breaker period, I set my intention to catch up on long overdue plans that I have been procrastinating before this stay home lockdown. And that includes training myself to create contents, to communicate and articulate my ideas and philosophies to the wider audience through videos and writing my blogs. So once I set this intention, every day I will prioritize tasks that are related to this intention. I mean, of course, there will always be new ideas and sometimes even panic actions that come along the way, but I will stop them from interfering my priority list so that I will stay focused and make sure that I complete the things that I set myself out to do. And this is all about being disciplined. And finally, choose kind. Well, this is the utmost guiding principle in my life right now and whenever I feel lost or confused, I fall back to kindness as my guiding principle. I will choose the actions and responses that align with kindness that makes the outcome gratifying no matter what it is. So kindness unto yourself, your life, your soul, the people you love, the soul community and Mother Earth. So balance can be restored through balance meditation and we can make use of alternate breathing as part of the practice. Well, I have shared about um, alternate breathing in my previous video, um, but today we are going to do a slight variation whereby we focus on one side of the breathing one at a time. Perhaps all of you are familiar that our right hemisphere is actually the creative mind and the left hemisphere of our brain is the logical mind. So we don't want to be on extreme on either side to be too creative, overly creative or overly logical. So this exercise helps us bring these two worlds together again to strike a balance and create a holistic balance that we can anchor our mind on. So we begin by inhaling and exhaling on our right nostril. So you can lift up your left thumb and simply seal your left nostril, leaving your right nostrils open. So we're gonna breathe in to the right. Make sure again you are breathing through the belly. Hold your breath for three seconds and then breathe out through the right again. So as you're doing this breathing, focus your energy, pay attention on the right side of your body. So each time you are inhaling through the right nostril, feel yourself empty the space, creating space on the right side of your body the right side of your mind. As you breathe out, deepen your relaxation and releasing of all the tension on the right side of your body and mind. Okay? And then you can switch side, use your right thumb to seal the right nostril. Take a deep breath in through the left. Hold for three seconds and then breathe out through the left again. So as you're doing your breathing repeatedly, 
focus your attention on the left side of your body and mind, releasing the space and tension on the left hemisphere, left side of your body, and create more space. Okay? So if you are someone who tends to be a little bit more creative, we can, we can actually do more times on the right to release more space and tension on our right hemisphere. And if you are a very logic driven person, you can practice more breathing to release the tension and create more space on the left. Alright, so really up to you, experiment. Most importantly, there is no right or wrong ways to do all these breathing exercises or meditation practices, the most important part is to feel yourself because this is your inner body, your inner mind, your inner journey. So thank you very much again for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow.